we are here in beautiful Bali um, in a coffee plantation and today we are joined by local guides hello hi what's your name my name is Monty Monty yeah. hi Monty Monty will be showing us around the um, uh, coffee plantation today and uh, just to give you an idea what is at the beginning of this beautiful place Give some rice fields. Um, so yeah, let's let's start the tour. Yeah. yeah. So here is no sapodilla. Wow. This is the first. Yeah. Uh, like a local kiwi. Yeah. But inside brown, not green. Oh. Okay. And it tastes sweet. And yeah, I like it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, why is it orange? Yeah, but not for eat. Oh, okay. it's only for decoration. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And also we grow ginseng. Mm. This is ginseng plant. Yeah. And we use the root for flavoring our food and drink. Oh, cool. Okay. Also for coffee. Yeah. Um, sorry, I can't hear you. And down there we have animals. Yeah. Oh, wow, what is this? Animal. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And they are nocturnal animals, mm -hmm. so they are more active at the night time. Mm -hmm. so, so why is the luwak here? Um, so this is a luwak coffee plantation, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And the luwak, we feed them coffee cherries, mm -hmm. and also a sweet fruit like a papaya and banana. Mm -hmm. Here's another luwak. Curled up, asleep there. So you grow coffee here mainly, yeah? Yeah, and this is coffee tree. So this is a coffee tree. This kind of Arabica coffee. Mm -hmm. is, that, uh, is that normal to grow in Indonesia, Arabica? Yeah. Okay. And uh, where are the coffee seeds? Uh, this one. When the color become red, it's ripe, mm -hmm. but now unripe. Okay, it's unripe right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. And here you can see how we make coffee by traditional process. Mm -hmm. So this is the food from the animal. Oh, After so the course. so the luwak eats the coffee beans yeah. and then poops it out. Yeah. And it looks like this. This is the poo from the animal uh -huh. after we collect. Yeah. At first, uh, we wash by hot water. Yeah. Three times until the bean get totally clean. Okay. And after that, we dry under the sun mm -hmm. around one week. Mm -hmm. And after we dry, we open the skin like this. But normally, we open the skin by mortar and pestle, okay. not only by hand. Oh, okay. And for the green bean, we roast on the fire. Ah, so this is the green bean yeah. without the skin. Yeah. Yeah. So where does this go? For the green bean, we roast here, mm -hmm. around 45 minutes. Oh, wow. Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. And the last process is sifting. 
That's for a ready made coffee. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is a traditional way to make coffee, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. And what is what are all those things in the top? flavor the coffee as well? Yeah. Oh, and you grow all this here on the farm? Yes. Right. And this is rice. Oh. Uh, this is kind of uh, white rice. Mm -hmm. In Bali we grow so kind of rice. Yeah. Like uh, white rice is a major food. Mm -hmm. uh, red rice is a healthy, healthy rice. Yeah. And brown and Thing many people would have seen rice like this, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 And this is the ginger. Oh, this is a ginger flower. Yeah, it's a ginger flower. Oh. We use the flower for uh, samba or sauce. Oh, okay. So you use it for the a spicy sambal? Yeah. Wow. In Bali, we use for make sambal mata. Oh. You know sambal mata? Yeah, I know sambal mata. Yeah, it's a fried sambal. With, um, with onion, onion and uh, chili. chili. Shrimp fish and a little bit oil. Wow. Yeah, I love sambal mata. <laughs> so this is a lemon tree? Lemon, yeah, lemon fruit. Oh, cool. So you want to have a look first or just devil first? Uh, yeah, maybe we can have a look have at a the look. different kinds of... Um, yeah. Here, if you come here, you can take a nice Instagram of the shot at this little nest that overlooks the view. Let's just take a look here. Well, if you're scared of heights like I am, it's probably a bit of a challenge, but look at that view. It's totally worth it. Let's see. There's a lot of seating here. Buri suka kopi. From here you can see the right terrace. Yeah. Also, we have bridge over there. Um, oh, there's a bridge there. Yeah. Mm. So, is this all your property? Mm. Mm. It's a real Bali jungle.
Beautiful. All right, so we're ready to taste some coffee now. Yeah. yeah? Should yeah here? yeah 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 sounds good. Thank you, thank you. So while we're waiting for our coffee, we can just take a look around here. Um, usually, when you come to a coffee plantation like this, you can. Um, either take photos and let me mess like that. Let's go take a look. Um, and while you're waiting to sip your coffee, you can get a little adrenaline rush and uh, take a nice Instagram little shot too. guys have come to Bali you know this is the number one thing that people like to do here let's see if I'm brave enough to cross the bridge Oop, it's a pretty steep drop down Okay, so as we're waiting for our coffee, um, I just wanted to show you around the place a little bit because um, so this is not just a coffee plantation, but it's got so many things to do, um, especially if you're coming here as a family or as a honeymoon couple. So as you saw before, there's a bunch of these like little um, selfie spots. I don't know if you can spot it. It's so well camouflaged here but um, these little nooks or nests where you can sit and enjoy like a romantic um, date in the evening over a nice cup of coffee um, and it's the property is really huge let's see who's in here oh it's a nice couple enjoying the meal <laughs> and um, let's go down there oh, wow okay so right now um, the facility is deferred in every coffee plantation that you go to um, but this is a really special one here today and this is usually the one that we send um, all of our caterflyers to uh, because it has so many amenities like this little trampoline here um, and in fact, you can even do some zip lining. If you see here, you can zip line all the way to little chairs and tables up in the forest like that. Let's see. So can you picture yourself just sitting there um, on a on a chair or in the table like up high over the jungle um, just to give you a sense of like how high up that is I'm just gonna walk over there to show you it's also really great for kids hi <laughs> um, so we were talking earlier about um, how coffee is made so you guys saw the process of the uh, how beans are processed but um, the way that coffee is usually drunk here, and you'll see this after we actually get the coffee uh, tasters, is that they usually just add the coffee powder to hot water and drink it as it is. Um, sometimes they add milk and sugar, but um, that's uh, not very usual either. So it's not really like super um, a sophisticated style of making it. 
but um, of late there's been a, a boom of coffee culture in Indonesia um, so whether you come to Bali or whether you go to any town in Java uh, you'll always find these little like hipster cafes um, that serve really good coffee like espresso style coffee and really put an Indonesian spin on it so you should keep your eyes open when you come to Indonesia for places like that um, and they're super popular with the locals as well and here you can actually see how high up we are this is down into the valley and that's where you can have your little jungle coffee so let's try to walk over to that bridge over there So here we are and this is called Wanara House Bridge. And let's take a closer look at this. Now of course we are in Indonesia in Bali where a lot of coffee is grown um, but other parts of Indonesia are really famous for their coffee and you can probably guess the name of one of the islands that are really famous um, and it is uh, the name of the island itself has um, become part of the language that we use to describe cup of coffee so you may have heard it being referred to as a cup of java so yeah that's uh, java which is another island in, uh, in indonesia is also really really famous for their coffee production um, and of course you have other parts of Indonesia like Flores which also has considerable amounts of coffee and um, if you've ever had a friend or anyone who's come to Bali you would probably have seen one of these shots right the famous Bali swing so this is where the magic happens this is what it looks like um, so typically you would get on the seat and then uh, it's all very safe, it's all harnessed as you can see. Um, you would get over here and because these are so huge, you can see up there, um, hope I can do justice to the scale of this thing, it's really high up in the air. You will really swing all across this jungle. So that is going to be your view. When you swing across the jungle. So this is the famous Bali swing too. Um, and there's multiple swings here. So of course you don't have to wait in line for very long. Um, right now it's a bit quiet of course because of, um, because of uh, the situation all around the world. But... Um, you can uh, bookmark this spot for the next time you come to Bali or just give us a shout out in the comments or send us a personal message and um, we can help you plan your vacation or at least show you some other parts of Bali. So let's go check on the coffee now. Alright, um, in the meantime, looks like our coffee has arrived, so let's go take a look at that. Oh wow, so this is a tasting menu where you can actually taste all the different kinds of coffee and tea that they produce here. Um, and they give you a handy little guide 
so you know what exactly you're tasting so let's see so just first of all this is a really beautiful presentation and this is actually everything that you get when you come for a coffee tasting so you can see you have lemongrass tea, you have Bali coffee, of course. So Bali coffee is traditionally just drunk. Um, it's just water and coffee beans, as you can see. It's not a very, um, very sophisticated brew, in a sense. Um, but then you have all these other really cool flavors. You have coconut coffee. You just have pure cacao or pure, pure cocoa. So they also have cocoa plants here. Um, um, then you have vanilla coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you have ginseng coffee. If you remember, we saw a ginseng plant earlier today. And this is a ginseng coffee. And then you have all the different kinds of tea. So the herbal teas that you can get in Bali are really unmatched to anywhere else. Um, of course, you have your lemongrass tea, which is really like a refreshing kind of drink. Lemongrass um, basically grows like a weed almost here. You can find it everywhere, lemongrass. Then you have your classic ginger tea. Um, then you have your mangosteen tea. Um, then you have your turmeric tea. So there it is, your turmeric tea. And then finally, you have rosella tea. You have your rosella tea. So let us grab a cup of coffee and I'm just gonna do a little taste here. So, my personal favorite in all this is um, coconut coffee um, and the vanilla coffee. So, let's see how that tastes. Um, I'm just gonna turn this around. Mm. Really beautiful. So, alright, I am off to enjoy these beautiful brews um, and again coming to you from beautiful Bali. Um, let's just take a look at this view again before I sign off. So that's it from Bali, signing off and uh, hope to see you again soon next week.